Hey everyone, it's Adranus. I... I don't know. I was turning on my PlayStation 5 just now and I was thinking to watch a movie or play a game and I bought this game a little while ago, Inscription, because it was on sale and friends been telling me to play it. So I thought maybe for the next 30 minutes or so, we'll give it a shot. I'm currently eating um, Lady Fingers, little long cookies. Maybe I'll take a picture and upload it to um, Twitter later. But uh, yeah, they're really, really good. They're actually, let me get one really quick from my little cabinet. Let me open the box again so I can get, let you hear me eat it. Because <laughs> they're freaking delicious. My uh, girlfriend brought these. From an Italian market in freaking Brooklyn. I'm very excited to go to. I'll be going back in a few weeks. Well, I don't need to tell you all of it. <laughs> but I, I just have that and some cookies. I was gonna make like something with matcha. Of course prefer to have these with like um something coffee or something and it's way too late for coffee i kind of oh shit my headphones got stuck too hello well i was gonna say before i got distracted sorry is that i kind of wish they were coffee flavored drinks that didn't have caffeine like well, I want coffee at night, but don't want to get, you know, be awake. Because coffee flavored things are good. I don't know. But something like, there should be like coffee, like, little snack, drink or something. Oh, I'm, I'm just ranting. Let's play. The game. Well, I can continue. The fuck? Another challenger has been anxious. Oh, it's a card game. Okay. Squirrel. Huh. Hmm. Okay. Ooh, you see his hand. Oh shit. Coyote. Oh shit. Oh. Oh. 
Oh, I see, because the... Oh, I see. So... Okay. Caustic Adder. Damage from his poison bite is always lethal. So it, oh, it just kills everything it bites. Cat takes one sacrifice. Does no damage. Two sacrifice. I like the snake. by stumps. I have a boulder. Oh, wait. Play long for now. turn it gets older. Let's see. Let's see. Makes sense. Can't sacrifice shit. That was the wrong play.
Was I not clear for it? Oh. Why did he collect some? Huh? To check your vibes, hand them over. I have many, many vibes. I have at least three. You know, I correct that. I have as many good vibes as I have squirrels in my next draw. Okay, that was a good card that he played earlier. Oh, a sparrow! I like birds. This your first time playing? Yeah, I've never played this game before. I had a friend tell me about it and suggested I pick it up. And it was on sale on PlayStation 5. So far I'm liking it. I don't want to sacrifice any of these two. Oh, one that will be lost forever. <sighs> that sucks. Honestly, mm, I just got the Sparrow. Oh boy, this is gonna be fun. Oh, I love God. watching people play for the first time. Thanks, man. I appreciate that. I'm Adrenus, by the way. Let's see. So this is an index for all things. So these are all the things I have. Interesting. Okay, I suppose I just have to choose one. Well, I just got the Sparrow, so I feel less sentiment to it. Considering that the Otter was able to let me break the... Yeah, I'm sorry. I am Danny, you local cursed miasma and purveyor of cursed knowledge and memes. <laughs> I do love my memes. And miasma always makes me think of, um... What's that Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles game? I always think of that game. I hear that word. You looked upon your menagerie and select a healthy host. So I choose one creature. Oh, it says pick me. Sure. Whoa! He's cool now! A ghastly spectacle with the soul of the spell run now lives in this town. Oh, so now the oh, so he became so he gained. The stone can now fly. How That's fast cool. I like that. So I could have also given another creature that poison damage then, and it would have been cheaper because it's less sacrifices for the sparrow. Okay, blow my totem. And it grabs my canine cards with the airborne. Surge. Oh. I just gave. That's rude. I just got the airborne for one card. I do see that. Mm -hmm. Somehow you're involved with them. Too much we suffer, I see. We play a Cody and a bat. It's two damage. I don't know why I did that. Well, I can't get a thing, so. So I'm gonna take four damage on my turn. Yeah, that's four. Woo! Man. to offer promotion of your channel viewers, <laughs> followers, views, no worries, thanks 
The I'm gonna get a fucking than any competitor. Mm. The quality is. So I see mm. you on your first run, yes? Mm. Yeah, this is my first run. Let's see. Well, I can't sacrifice. I don't want to sacrifice. I get more damage, sure. <sighs> Let's do the squirrel. Nope. I can't do that, squirrel. These can fly over. Oh, they can both fly over. I'm sorry. Oh, God. Nope. That was an awful play. That's, I'm dead, aren't I? Fuck. Oh, my, what the fuck? Okay. More to this game than what first appears. Oh. So I can only die twice. Interesting. Okay. There's a lot more in that room. I kind of wish I'd looked more. Oh. Moves after. So what was my move? Like it leaves? Oh, I, I didn't... Okay, I accidentally press X. Fire. Fire. Oh! Yeah, I keep forgetting the cats. Hmm. They looked upon your group for creatures and beckoned. I don't know. Yeah, he says no way. I'm gonna agree with him. Okay. There's a lot of wolves. Oh, what? Strange, okay. Ooh, he's making me fight him. Somewhere in this foul cabin. Okay, so if I can get away from the place again. What is this? Grand fur? Okay. BTW, was... Whenever special cards pop up, would you like some trivia on them? I think for now, not so much, but maybe in a few minutes. I appreciate that, Danny. I think right now what I want to do is try to figure out what the rules are. I, do, I like a lot of card games, so this is like a very interesting to me. I'm playing with a squirrel. Let me block this grizzly with him. Okay. No, wait, I'm not sure. I shouldn't. Oh no, I, I forgot. Freak. No, can I take it back? Oh, 
Well, I'm gonna take four damage. Fuck. Well, I'm not gonna be able to kill him my turn. So I'm gonna take four. Ugh. Man, it's still not enough. Oh, that was enough. Oh, I'm dead. Shit. Oh. <laughs> Yay! I'm I'm dead. Oh, what the fuck? The fuck? What? Over on a death card. Please choose a card to draw the cost from. Well, they're both two twos. Yeah, make it a four two. Why not make it more powerful? Oh, oh, shoot, um, freak, well, it's my first death, let's just name it me. Why not? Oh. Uh, I guess. Should I smile? Ow. That's so rude. <sighs> oh, okay, I see. Oh, so every time you die, there's new resources. The game changes. They interact with new stuff. So the possum here costs two bones. I have to have bones now as well as sacrifices. Okay, you gain bone when your or when your creatures perish. Oh, interesting. So when I sacrifice a squirrel, I get bones. So I use sacrifice two squirrels to make a wolf. Squirrel I can then summon a possum. Yeah, interesting. Oh, the stealth's back. Oh, wrong one. That's upsetting. I, th I thought that was the squirrel I was getting. Yeah, there it is. What is summoning? A 3 3 rattler? How much is my. These are 3 1? Yeah, it doesn't have s death, whatever. Doesn't matter. Or I put the squirrels as long as they're on the board, right? <laughs> Interesting. Can I sacrifice the possum to make the stout? Doesn't that make sense? Like, why wouldn't I... Oh. Interesting. Oh? I forgot your figurine. Oh. Oh, yeah, I'll get it. Besides the safe. Interesting. Two seven three, that's the code. Well, they both did one damage. 
The only thing you got out of it was an extra bone. Yeah, but the other the thing is that like it had more um defense. It had three defense, and that's why I thought it it was worth playing. Why did I leave? Let me see if I could have save. And play it. Uh two seven three. Two seven Hello. Interesting. Turn it. What is in here? What's in here? What's in here? Ooh, it's a puzzle. Heck yeah. What the f fuck? Puzzles. Okay. Oh. Let's see. What are we trying to do? I'm trying to do five damage. Ooh, skink. Now, uh, the only thing I'm worried about is if I die, do I keep those? Let's try this. No. Is it not five? Well, that's six. Puzzles require your knowledge of board states and what certain signals do. Yeah, I think I'm trying to... F mm. You're probably right. It's probably better just to look at that later. Interesting. Ah! Okay, I'll go back. Oh! That's weird. Huh. Strange painting. Yeah. Oh, right, sorry. I forgot I was supposed to get that. Oh, I think I can put the finger in down there. There you go. Okay, let's continue. Ooh. Okay, this one, don't just press X randomly. That's what I did last time, and I accidentally took it. Nefarious Rattler. Ooh, it takes six bones for the Rattler? Interesting. And Cockroach is... Oh, undying. That seems useful. But it costs four. The 
Does the bones mean how much it creates when it dies? It's, Cause that would explain. No, it's cost four and it costs six. Let's get the cockroach. Let's see. Let's head into the piece of my cookie. Oh, blood goat. Okay. This bleeding yields three blood if you can ignore the bleating. Yeah, sure. Oh, I can cut a card with that? Hmm. Oh, I see. I get to skip. Choose one. That seems useful. I think squirrels randomly are useful. Interesting. Hmm. Oh. Ha ha ha. <laughs> a friend. That stoat is quite sassy. Yeah, he is. I like him. Hmm. Was he playing a wolf cub again? Let's play squirrel. Sack squirrel to goat. No, oh, stop looking. Goat. Sack. Oh, do I lose? Um, I think I do lose. That might. I, I, uh, uh. So, my thinking is that when I sacrifice a go, I'll get three blood, but it's a resource that runs out. So I won't like... If you play Magic the Gathering, it's like the mana um, pull leaves during phase changes, so I don't think it sticks. Let's end and then see what happens. Is it an alpha? Oh, it mo oh that's a weird symbol. Creatures adjacent to the card band this year will gain one power. Okay, so it's given one to the wolf cub. Interesting. I want to gain a card. Okay, let's try summoning the wolf and see if I get... Yeah, see, it does only... Uh, use it once. I guess it's worth it. Play the scroll there. What's his health? Two. I'll play a skink. Oh, wait, why did he hit me? Oh, he had his turn, I see. Let's send out Stoat, kill Squirrel. Kill it. I mean, okay. Why are you so upset? Hmm. The Trevor may be interested in your spoils. 
Oh, was the trapper the character on the path on the left up there? Oh, sure. He's always like that. You may stand whenever the map is. Oh, okay, cool. That's good. It's useful. Huh. <laughs> I like that. He's like, um, a D and D DM. He's like, yeah, you can explore. It means you can. I can um. Accept the traps in the games. I wonder if there will be more tokens as the game progresses. What time is it right now, actually, in real life? 10.52. 10. Yeah, close enough. Wait, where are the three hands? Perhaps this makes more sense now. That's two. And as I understand it, this should be four, but it's zero. Why? What changed? So that's my play. That's his play. My play now. My play again. Hmm. Oh shit, there's more! Oh shit, there's ants now! Shit. Okay. So, Ant just... What can I move? What can't I move? Okay. Let's see. Hmm. 
That doesn't make sense. Do they not do damage? Okay, I am missing. Wait, hold up. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Your understanding of how ants function is important here. Yeah, the ants add up. There we go. Caged wolf. Huh. So it doesn't do any damage? Interesting. Oh, let's do this last one. Okay, so that symbol here most likely shows that it affects the other things around it. So what is this one? So what's the current number? One damage. So counter. Let's put all these back. Oh, I can't put this down. Interesting. Still one. Still one. No, I hit the wrong button. Yeah, did I just do stuff, like, completely out of order? That's my brain for you, I suppose. I just like puzzles. Let's try. Okay. Interesting. Let's flip adder again. Adonis! Oh, why wouldn't I take my last card? Let's go here this time. My choice is yours. So I sacrifice a creature if I remember correctly. Oh, interesting. Oh, hold up. So I can sacrifice a I can sacrifice a cockroach. I can make any... Oh! Sure. So he comes back whenever he dies. I get him back in my hand, as I understand it, right? That seems pretty good. You did brute force it a bit, but TBH, I'm not a stickler about it. I know there are people who do get annoyed when people do that, but it's out. Yeah, I get it. My whole standpoint for a lot of these games is to, like, push until you figure it out. And also, those, as I understand it, those, um, not traps, puzzles, are supposed to help understand balance between characters. I think the only thing I'm not understanding so far is the ants, but the movement of additional um, increase to points values by those arrow ones made a lot more sense. Uh, but yeah. I think this is a game I'm definitely going to continue playing and figure out. Because so far this is really cool. Okay. Hmm. Wait, should I? Yeah, it makes sense to do it. 
I suppose I'll just play the scroll, that way I have everything blocked. Okay, now I should, uh... Draw. Oh, I don't have anything to sacrifice. Yeah, I didn't see a point to making it go any further. Let's see, let's keep going. Flip! <sighs> Truest offering sacrifice, it grants three blood. Ooh! Damn, this guy's 33. Eight bones! And Mantis! Ooh, Mantis. It's praying claws strike both to the left and right. Oh, if it does one damage to left and right. But it only does one damage. So I could place it in between areas to hit things that aren't next to it. Okay. Hmm. So the question is, do you want sacrifice outlets with the black goat? Do you want a strong flyer? I feel like it takes a while to get eight bones, though. Maybe there are ways to increase the bone amount. I kind of like the mantis, though. One sack hit two things. This is to play in, in specific areas. What try mantis? Oh, there's three ways I can go here. There's a sigil. There's backpack. Fire. Okay. I'll be attacking. The time I've seen turkey vulture come in clutch during longer duels is quite funny. You're probably right about that, especially considering the eight cost bone creature I suppose during longer games like when you're holding out and haven't summoned things in a while I suppose it could be really really useful I wonder if I could sacrifice the mantis and give it a stronger creature yeah I can interesting that might be the play I don't understand what do you even do Oh, you make his creatures weaker, I see. That seems good. Both Mantis and Black Goat are solid in their own ways. Yeah, I feel like a lot of cards here, like, are just really good. Is to give the wolf the attack corners. That seems useful. Let's go attack him. Oof. What is your first play? Wolf cub. I'm gonna play squirrel. I'm gonna a sack squirrel to work around. Because he has one damage. Yes, we trying out ants. Yeah, I'm gonna give it a shot. Can it not break a uh, squirrel? No, no. Uh, there we go. Use the D-pad. Makes it easier for selection. You are totally right. Thank you for that.
No. Shoot. Hmm. Why can't I get squirrel in the jar? Oh, there it is. Okay, let's go here. Whoa, sweet. I didn't realize I was going to beat him. What? I can look over there. No, what'd I do? Oh, I got up. You are a terrifying person. Okay. Okay, it's a question card. Or so. What on earth? Okay, okay, okay. Wait, I'm gonna eat a cookie. So help me think. Huh. Question mark card and backpack. Or I don't actually recognize this symbol, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go here. Hmm. Okay. Oh, okay. Huh. So now it's, do I want to have a one cost, two cost, three cost card? I guess the obvious answer is three because one cost is just a stout. And I like the boy, but two seems like I have plenty of wolves, so why go there? I don't have a three cost, and I believe now I understand why the goat is so good, because that would summon this guy. Let's try it. Ooh, grizzly. I love bears. Yes. Bears are great. Um... Backpack. Nice. Squirrel! I guess I'm finding the boy. So what happens if I beat him? Do I escape? I made a mistake. So, even though I didn't make a mistake, you're going to make me only have... Oh, this is the first boss. Oh, shit. What the fuck? Oh, what the hell? Oh, I like the ambiance here. This is nice. <laughs> yeah, ha! Twas a prospector. He's terrifying. Oh, I don't like the way he looks. Okay, he's a coyote and a pack mule. Oh, I see. Pack mule means he moves in that direction. Right? He, like, takes the spot of the next aisle here. Like, he'll go down here and move over. The ambience in this game is top tier. It really is, Danny. I like, actually really, really feeling it. What's the point of the smoke? Let's put it here. Oh, interesting. So I create a thing. Hmm. 
Yep, makes sense. So many bones. Is that six already? Oh, it was, yeah. There is gold in them cards. I agree. Oh, what the fuck? What the fuck? That's just bullshit. I suppose I can sacrifice. Mechanic with the phase transition. Oh, I see. That explains it. So now it's a bloodhound. Let's go draw. He's doing the, <laughs> the mule's key. The mule. The mule's gone. So I can't do anything. Really? I thought I was much better than I thought. I'm sorry. Oh shit, he moves? What the f fuck? Like swing's a symbol. Why would he move to my boy? Interesting. Okay. No! Shit. Punishes you for having a filled board, basically. Yeah, it seems like he's hurting me for like... I'm gonna make him skip his turn. Don't hit me. I'm gonna take a squirrel. Which I can't play right now. There you are. Hmm. Let's draw. Yeah, okay. Wait, actually not what I wanted. Shoot. Uh, use that again. So I don't want to... Uh, I don't want to sacrifice my stout. Oh, that was a total myth. Gotta get squirrel. Okay, he's a. I guess I should go grizzly, do four damage, and just kill him. That makes sense. Out again. <laughs> Don't be all mad at me. I'm sorry, boy. Did I get him? Did I get him? Yeah! Interesting. He is. You're the first in the world to become a boss. Thank you. Yeah, that last time I just completely died. Ooh, a rare card. Choose carefully. A poor abandoned child. It does not. It does not die when sacrificed. But you do have to heart to try. Oh, it's a thirteen-year-old child. That's upsetting. But okay. Gek. I like that. Unaspiring crabs. You can find a use for it. True. It is a 1-1... One, one, oh, wait. It's a creature that costs 0 to summon. But it does damage. 
Ooh, Ouroboros. Cards are what I was talking about earlier with the trivia. Oh yeah, can you please tell me something about that about these, Danny? I appreciate that. What about the child? Hmm. Okay. So child is one sacrifice. I see that can't die, so it stays in the field. I suppose. Gek is no sacrifice. But it's a one one, so easy to summon. Perhaps I can give it more attack or something later in the game. And Ouroboros is a two cost, and it comes back to my hand if I understand that symbol correctly. Whenever it dies, right? That's what it says. Yeah. I just gotta copy my hand. And it says when the card burns to sacrifice it does not pair. Oh, because it just stays there. Huh. Hmm. Well, I'm, I'm assuming you're going to write, so I'm just going to give you some time. Child 13 is a reference to the American cryptid, the Jersey Devil. Oh, that it's makes sense, yeah. It's a direct reference to the story of how it came to be. Yeah, wasn't it like, um, I have family in Jersey. They like, wasn't it like, a wasn't it mentioned like child abductions or... I forget. I remember my grandma telling me about that when she was growing up there. And the Ouroboros, I understand what the Ouroboros is. I actually recently read a, a book um, called Mexican Gothic. Thirteenth child? Of a woman in New Jersey. 13th child? Oh, that's interesting. Oh, that makes sense. The child is the 13th of a family, which explains child 13. Um, I was saying Ouroboros. So there's a book called Mexican Gothic that has a bunch of Ouroboros... Um, Re references throughout the entire book recommend it the book is about basically a British family who moved to Mexico and found funguses and they use them to extend their life um, like an Ouroboros they would eat their kids like blood and bodies and so forth and ex extend their own lives it was a, it's an interesting kind of gothic horror book I re definitely recommend it if you're into that kind of um, literature. I liked it. It was good. The author had um, a lot of really interesting uh, scenes and scenarios in her writing. That uh, I liked it a lot. Like right now I'm reading the book called Perfume. About a 18th or 17th century French boy who is able to pick out scents um, like within objects and in the air like he can ex explain like all ingredients in the food using a dish but also like smell gold coins hidden by the nurses or the wet nurse so like basically very very strong sense of smell and uses it to create perfumes and it's this is very well written there's murder it's a the book is about a murder um it's good i like it and the writing is really 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 well done very vivid deck is basically one of the few no cost cards that do something it's a pretty simple card yeah it seems interesting though as a simple like one one because the only benefit between the Ouroboros is that it's one one that doesn't leave your hand. Essentially, like, it comes back. But the fact that it's a two cost means that it takes you at least two turns to summon a one one. So time wise, I think the Gek is better. Chow thirteen, I like the reference and that it doesn't die when perished. So I could consistently sacrifice it over and over again as a sack outlet. <sighs> but get most rare cards have hidden effects alongside their sigils. Interesting, considering that Gek doesn't have a sigil, but also Gek I see is a um, carnivore because they have the carnivore sy symbol in the top left. Oh, I just start. I just I just started noticing that, and the child is a. 
deer. So herbivore. Reptile family symbol. Is that reptile? Oh, I see. So they're both reptiles. That's that is true. Huh. I suppose I'm leaning towards Gek. What would you suggestion be as follows? Would Gek be a good choice, or should I go with my gut and choose Child 13, considering the sacrifice outlet? I'm actually thinking of my Corvold Magic the Gathering deck. Huh. Hmm. This is tough. This is very tough. The elk symbol represents the hoofed family of cards. All three are solid options at the moment, but child would be solid for you right now. Yeah, I appreciate that, Danny. I, I think you're right. I think child is preferable. And hooves it does make sense considering it has hooves. With the sound of the process of pickaxe still ringing in your ears, agreed. You carried onwards. Thank you. Yay. Hmm. Oh, the map changed. The rank smell of rot and mold permeated the humid air. Oh, this place looks like a jungle, like more of a jungle. So every step forward is was answered by some nearby slip or slither. You tread cautiously into the wetlands. Interesting. I'm gonna go question mark and just see random choice cards this time around. Oh, beehive. Oh, fuck. This is a new symbol. There's a beehive summon bees. When it's attacked, you will draw a bee. Oh, I see. In Boilable has two health. Bullfrog! It leaves in the way of attacking fires. <sighs> Why is there a, a thing next to it? I don't understand. And Coyote. Hey, Danny, can you explain why that thing appeared just below the bullfrog? I don't understand why that was there. You can put your triangle and see that click on the screen. <laughs> Means you have one in your deck. Press up on the D-pad to view the cards you have. Up on the D-card. Oh. Oh, you're yeah. I, I have not noticed this. Thank you for that. Huh. Because I have a bullfrog. I don't have a coyote, and I've been making a lot of bones recently. I suppose the question is, do you want a coyote to make... I kind of want to make more use of my bones, because I, I keep killing stuff. But I'm not using the bones except for the possum. I think it makes sense to go with a coyote. Sweet. Maybe that was the wrong choice. I don't know. <laughs> a group of starving survivors stood around a dying campfire. There is room for a creature around the fire, one said. The warmth will enhance its power, said another. One of the survivors said nothing at all, but could not stop licking their lips. Nope. So double the power. I guess I could double the power of the grizzly. That would be kind of interesting. Or double the power of the possum or skink, considering they are easy summon creatures. Oh.
do what you must. Oh. Why is this? I don't. I won't do it to you, Stout. I ain't gonna be rude. So the question is, what do I want to double? families or tribes of cards food canine reptile and beasts though beasts are technically tribal as as they are not a yeah that explains why like the possum uh and stouts and grizzly don't have those symbols on the top left like all the other cards do oh and adranus considering that uh they were a human i suppose Okay, so it's plus one to whatever attack. I can make him a grizzly a five. Yeah, why not? I'm like worried that one of these times when I do that, they won't actually let me get back my creature. Oh wait, I can do this again? Uh, oh, never mind. I can't. I just can't get the thing anymore. Hmm. Okay, what time is it? Ooh, it's 11.30. I should get going to bed. And I've been playing for a good hour and 20... Hour 13. So, I think I'm going to take a little... Break. I might go back to the table. Like, I might... You know what? I'll definitely play this game some more. I've been enjoying this a lot. Uh, I appreciate you stopping by, Danny. And uh, everyone else watching. Uh, if you want to come back... Definitely keep an eye out for when I go live. I try playing every few days or so. That's whenever I'm really not busy with work. You know how it is. Uh, how do I save? I guess I'll figure that out. Well, again, ugh. thanks for stopping by. And I appreciate, you know, all your help with... Uh, the suggestions no and cards. I enjoy giving trivia and helping when asked. Yeah, it was definitely helpful, Denny. Appreciate you. Definitely come by anytime. And with that, everyone, I think I'm going to go get ready for bed, brush my teeth, and go to sleep. Ciao for now. Ciao. Ciao, ciao. Night. Ugh. Ugh. Bye.